Hello, 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 everyone. I am Eve with the baby's booty. And as uh, someone said in Miss Nina Salter, it is sublimation time tonight. And I am super excited because I have been preparing for this live for a couple of days now. Well, a few days, actually. And I've been looking forward to this live because I needed to... Um, redo a live that I did before that I accidentally deleted so we are going to redo that live tonight and I'm very 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 excited so I want to also let you guys know of a few things ahead of time before we get into the live tonight first things first I would not have this channel were it not for you beautiful people joining us every week and I want to thank you. So I do take the time at the beginning of this live to go through and speak to all of the folks who take the moment to say hello to us in the chat. So it's gonna take a moment for me to do that because there's a lot of folks in here and I definitely <laughs> appreciate it. So if you wanna skip right on into the meat of things, give me about 15, 20 minutes to say hello to everyone. I would greatly appreciate your patience with that. And then we'll get right into the show. Also, if this is your first time here, please consider subscribing to our channel. We do go live every Sunday evening for the most part, Lord willing in the creek don't rise. <laughs> and we are here right at this point around about 10 p.m. I may bump it back an hour. We'll see how things go once daylight savings time hits and we'll go from there. Also, we offer subscription service here, membership rather, here on our channel. So down below beside the subscription button, if you can't see it right now and you're on your mobile device, just hit live chat, it'll go away and you'll see the red subscribe button. Beside that should be a blue join button that's how you can join the youtube hoop group membership it does financially support our channel we greatly appreciate any and all of you who so choose to join in membership with our channel and if you join as a captain which is the highest level you get a free embroidery design and a project to do live with me so just the hoop group captains and we had our first one this past friday evening and we made some really cute stuff y'all this is the little purse that we made all right it's super cute the hoop group captains got the embroidery pattern for this free they were able to get that free pattern um and i enjoyed taking the time to make all of these totally adorable little purses and i also mentioned something else on that uh live with them that it would also include sublimation and i totally forgot to mention the sublimation part when we actually did the video so i'm going to take a moment and show you that once we get into the sublimation tonight and how you can make these totally adorable little purses with sublimation as well so i'm going to drop a link uh, a little bit later on where you can get the design for these it it's uh i think right now they're four dollars per size on this and there are three sizes available unfortunately four by four is not an available size with these um it starts at five by seven but if you do have the five by seven hoop they, these are so cute man i mean i just i fell in love as soon as i saw them and someone actually came up with the idea to put a grommet on the back side a hole with a grommet and put doggy poo bags and the doggy poo bags fit in these perfectly and just attach this to the leash and pull out the bags as you need them oh my gosh i'm trying to tell y'all there are quite a few uses that you can make with these and actually sell them and make some money so definitely check this out later on in the show so tonight we're going to get into sublimation but first i want to say hi to everyone that has joined us tonight so give me a moment let me scroll through and say hello as a matter of fact let me move it down so that i can see it a little bit better and hopefully it didn't take anybody away from me let's see of course it did i swear i just it just kills me sometimes 
All right. Hello, everyone. How are you all? Nina Salter. Hello. She says sublimation time. Miss Robin Bryant. Hello to you as well. Miss Tanyu. Hello. Thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. I definitely appreciate that. Miss Lucy says, hello, beautiful. I made it tonight on time. Well, welcome. Thank you for joining us this evening. We are going to have a blast. Miss Sheila Cushenberry. Hi, Sheila Cushenberry. <laughs> it's rather late for our side of the, of the country. So I definitely understand for those of you who come in and you're like, oh my gosh, it's 10 o'clock. Well, on the West Coast, it's a lot earlier than that. So we'll definitely get into it a little bit faster than we normally do. But welcome. Let's see who else we have. Scooby-Doo. Well, hey, Scooby-Doo. How are you? Thank you for joining us this evening. Always a pleasure to have you and Miss Ethel Smith. Hey, Miss Ethel Smith. Thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member as well. Definitely appreciate that. Diana Henderson. Hello. Leela Nelson as well. And Tanya. Thank you both. Oh, I said Tanya already, but I'm going to thank you again. Thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. Larry Washington. Hello. Janice Haynes, hello, Boom Chilla. Hey, Boom Chilla. <laughs> How are you? Welcome, welcome. Miss American Eagle Embroidery and Graphics, hello to you as well and to you as well. Thank you very much for being a Hoop Group member. Always a pleasure. Vicki Sanders, hello. How are you? Let's see who we have. Miss also Miss Cheryl Malone. Thank you as well for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. Um, let's see. Did I say hey, Layla Nelson? Thank you for being a Hoop Group member. I don't know if I did, but I'm going to say it again. Thank you. <laughs> Linda Harges. Hello. How are you? A Garden for Mom. Colette Martin. Kindred Jazz Tees. Hello to all of you. Welcome. Thank you for joining us this evening. Karen White. Hello. Hello. How are you? Welcome. Thank you as well for joining us this evening. Miss Pamela Banks. Janae Petty. Hello from Kansas City. Welcome. Thank you for joining us. And I hope I pronounced your first name correctly. Please let me know if I didn't. Uh, Tiffany Freeman. Hello, Kingsbury Crafts. Always a pleasure having you in here as well. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, Lilo says you visited Debbie this afternoon on the way to check out the red line. Brenda is selling. Awesome. I hope that was a good deal you're catching. And yes, it is awesome to know that you guys are meeting up in the background. I am super excited about that. Uh, if I wasn't so scatterbrained and had a trillion things going on and work on top of that, I probably would have driven up there and met up with you too. <laughs> One of these days I'll get my freedom back, but right now I don't have it. Um, let's see, Iasia Earth. Hello, hello. Where do I get the ink feeders? Are you talking about the uh, sublimation ink tanks that hang on the side of the Epson printer? If you are, I got mine from Amazon and I do have a link in the Amazon store description. I'm, I'm sorry, in the Amazon store that is linked in the description down below. So if you click that, the Amazon store, you will find a link in there for those ink tanks that hang on the side. Um, Colette Martin, hello again, sorry. Let's see, yeah, Lucy, thank you. They are cute, aren't they cute? They were like the cutest thing. Maxine Seeley, hello, how are you? Welcome, thank you for joining us. PJ Coppage, hey PJ, how are you? Welcome, thank you for joining us this evening. Diamond Collins, thank you as well very much for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. I definitely appreciate the support. P.L. Boven, hello to you as well. Sherry Castro, hello. Lupe, hey Lupe, I hope you are feeling better. Thank you. You know what, time's out. Hold on, I'm glad I said that. I'm gonna need y'all to do me a favor. <laughs> y'all gonna be like, what in the world? Look, um, for those of you, especially the folks that have been here since like the very, very beginning and you all are in here all the time, and I see you all in here all the time. There are several of you all in here who, how can I put this? Um, your families or significant folks in your family know that you watch this channel on a regular basis. The reason why I say that is because there have been a couple of instances where I've gone to an event like an embroidery craft show or something. And a member of the family comes up and says, my family member watches you all the time. And I got to meet the people, which by the way, 
couple of them are on this this tumblr actually everyone that i've met for the most part is on this tumblr but definitely everyone that i've taken a picture with will be on the new tumblr we're doing tonight but do me a favor okay so for the folks that are on here and i know you and we communicate and all that cool stuff please tell your family to let me know if something is you know if you're in the hospital if you're sick if something's going on tell them email me or something so that i don't know what's going on so i had a very dear to me viewer who i talked to on a frequent basis and she let me know she was like i'm in the hospital i'm like oh my god why did i not know when she's been in there a week so it's like oh you know i do care i really do care and i would like to know and keep up so if you care for me to know just tell your family hey make sure you email this person and let her know that i'm not doing my best so that i can send well wishes or something and know that you're okay even when you eventually become okay as well so i can keep up with you guys because i was just like oh man that threw me for a loop and it messed me up <laughs> it messed me up matter of fact was that this morning no that was saturday she called and told me that and i was like oh no i'm gonna have to put this out there like it's certain ones that you definitely for sure know you best be telling family to call me certain ones definitely for sure and you know who you are if you are but for the others if you would like for me to know your well-being please just drop me an email tell your family members give your family members the email tell them drop me an email if something's going on so that i can send well wishes so that i can put you in my prayers whatever we need to do to keep in touch with our hoop group because we're close-knit around here i need to know what's going on but that thing messed me up so i was like oh no we're gonna talk about this tonight I wanted to throw that in there my bad so let's get back to the to the greetings and say hello to everyone let's see nice soulful creation says good evening i have to say that you encouraged me to get a red line 1501 it was delivered on friday so excited to expand my business nice soulful creations girl you know what that means we need to ring the bell for you Woo! so everybody get your bell Holla! Y'all, congratulations on your new baby, your Red Line 1501. Look at you all in 15 needles, girl. Mm -hmm. You out here doing the thing. I'm so proud of you. Now, for those of you who are Hoop Group members, I want to reiterate, let me know, email me. Let me know that you are looking for a bell, all right? Because I need to send you a bell. This week, I haven't been able to get bells out. It's, life has been really crazy, but I'm going to get bells out to the folks who uh, are YouTube Hoop Group members. YouTube paid Hoop Group members get a free bell. So please let me know. Shoot me an email. The link right here, thebabiesbooty.com. Just add thebabiesbooty at gmail.com and send me a message and say, hey, I'm a YouTube who remember and i would like for you to send me a bell and give me your address so that i can get that bell in the mail <laughs> so you can ring with us but congratulations again night soulful creations that's totally awesome and please be sure to post pictures of the awesome projects you'll be working on in the hoop group right here at the website i look forward to seeing them uh andrea baxter hello to you as well welcome Sheila Cushenberry says, saw those little purses listed the other night. Super cute they are. Oh, I just, I can't stop saying super cute because that's just, they're totally adorable. And then I messed around and made one with that cute little, you know, baby looking fabric. And I was just like, okay, see, I out. And then I did rhinestone. I don't know how, let me see if you can see that. Get it to focus and move the handle thing out the way. I did little rhinestone thingies on there. Is it going to focus? No no of course not so the studs on the top have rhinestones in them and on the side those are rhinestones there you go isn't that cute and it just like blings in the light of like oh my god so anyway i mean it was so bad i was so obsessed that i bought a whole case of rivets off of amazon so that i could have the different colors the black the silver the bronze and the and the brass looking Fortunately, it was only like nine bucks, but you know, I intend to make these things and have a good time with them. And this one definitely was really cute. And I love how the sublimation turned out with it. So I can't wait to show you that. So it's going to be totally awesome. Forever Blessed says hello from Madison, Mississippi. Hello. How are you? Welcome. Thank you for joining us. Ricola. Hello. How are you? Welcome. Thank you for joining us this evening. 
Diamond Collins says, and I got my Epson 7720. Hello, congratulations, Diamond. Yas, we like getting our printers, man. And you got the two trays. Yas, what you gonna sublimate? You sublimating with us tonight? I hope so, because we got some good stuff to sublimate. And the cool thing is, not only did my tumblers come in, Conde, which is why their thing is right up here, their banner, because they sent some other cool stuff for us to sublimate. Just really neat things. So I'm excited about that. And we are going to get into our shrink wrap tonight as well and sublimate with the oven and the heat press. So we'll start off with the heat press, but we'll end up with the oven. So I'm excited to get into that. Jimmy Miller says this is Laverne Miller and heat press 15 by 15. Yes! Woo! <laughs> heat press nation girl he well no not heat press nation that's probably not where you got it from i forgot that's the name of a company but heat press in the house that's what i need <laughs> scooby-doo oh no she said she's pretty sad a close friend just found out her mother had cancer and in less than three weeks she passed away yesterday oh my gosh i am very sorry to hear that because loss is not natural and it's not something that we should have to even deal with and in addition to that cancer is just running rampant right now and that is tragic my condolences to you and your friend and please uh we'll pray for comfort we will pray for comfort for you and her in the weeks coming and from now on because that's tragic and i can't even begin to imagine losing my mom i just can't i don't even want to imagine that so i know that's got to be rough so I am very sorry to hear that and I hope things get well get better for her and she's able to cope and everything goes well with the arrangements and such um inspiration creations Lori is with that company saying hi from Canada all the way from Canada Lori thank you for for joining us this evening from Canada that's a good ways away how is the weather up there do y'all have snow please send some down this way so we can kill these germs that's going around because unfortunately we need to get rid of these viruses and snow can get rid of germs <laughs> at least that's what grandma used to say anyways uh eartha lewis says hello eve and everyone from port allen louisiana hello miss eartha lewis how are you welcome thank you for joining us pamela den mom hello and welcome thank you for being a youtube who group member i definitely appreciate that Onita Peoples, hello from Michigan. Hello, how are you? Welcome. Thank you for joining us this evening. Uh, Linda Hargis says, hi Eve, I received my Racoma TC1501 heat press and Sawgrass 800. I don't know that my bell can handle all that ringing. So I'm gonna need y'all to help ring with me. So for the YouTube Who Group members, put your purple bells together and help me ring for uh all these equipments that miss linda has going on in her studio <laughs> congratulations linda Woo! yes yes holler that's a lot you are gonna be busy ma'am you are going to be busy either you gonna have to figure out how to multitask among embroidery and sublimation and all that it's gonna be just crazy around your way and i'm happy for you so i hope you enjoy every bit of it all right so please definitely share your projects that you're working on in the group as well whether it's sublimation or embroidery what have you we would love to see every bit of it thank you very much miss t is in here says hello and thanks for everything you're welcome miss t thank you for joining us just by being yo hi how are you welcome <laughs> thank you for joining us patricia husky hello and thank you as well for being a paid youtube hoop group member thank you very much uh just by being yo says from arkansas so way across the country thank you for joining us <laughs> again uh janae says you pronounced it correctly cool thank you i appreciate you letting me know that because sometimes i wonder and i'm like oh debbie day hi debbie day welcome thank you for being a paid youtube hoop group member as well we definitely appreciate the support Maxine Seely says, hi, E, what heat press did you say cost so much money? I need one that uh, close by pushing a button because of my arm. Ooh, um, so that's the automatic kind. And I actually have not researched those because 
I'm a little leery of him only because I know how clumsy I am and I be done had something in the way and that heat press come down and it just be real tragic. But at some point I do need to look into all the other different types of heat presses that are out there. They even have one really big, huge one that the drawer slides in and out. Oh gosh, I just, uh, uh, I would love to, but check out, uh, Conde, Ditrans.com. They do carry heat presses and see if they have one. I, I'm pretty sure they carry heat presses. I'll double check real quick. Um, and see if they have one, um, that is automatic. Let me see if they carry one real quick i'll go ahead and look that up while we're waiting heat presses yes they do um and they do have automatic models listed so they have one two three four different types by geo knight so give them um a look and see if they have one that will work well for you i don't know prices unfortunately but um, i'm sure if you let them know that you are there by referral the baby's booty they can work out some kind of deal with you um, because those guys are really nice over there about helping hook up our viewers some type of way. So definitely let them know. Maxine Seeley says, thank you in advance. You're welcome. You're welcome. Uh, Lupe says you're doing better, but it's just been so slow and it's going to take a while and take your time. You want your body to heal naturally like it's supposed to and not rush into it and then have a relapse. We don't want that. <laughs> So, all right, you guys, let us start getting into, um, oh, wait a minute. Colette says, what was the deciding factor for red line embroidery machine? Buying the red line embroidery machine, uh, red line is their customer service, number one. Um, the, the service guy that is there in the office that i talked to not 100 percent sure if he's the owner or not i didn't really get too deep into that but very knowledgeable has been in the embroidery industry for over 30 years and we talked in detail about embroidery machine options that are out there the different embroidery um you know companies and what they stand for and how they came about because he's been in the industry for so long and the price point versus the punch that you get for your money. Let me make sure I'm saying that correctly. The value for what you're getting for your money was outstanding. So you're looking at $7,300, $7,500 to $8,000, depending upon which package you get. You're getting 15 needles of an industrial level machine. So this isn't like, candy and pansies and whatnot so with the other machine that i have that was um six needles and roughly the same price actually a little bit more and i couldn't embroider on all the different types of hats and certain things that i wanted to embroider on and the size difference you're talking about a 21 inch hoop versus the biggest over there was i want to say 13 inches 12 inches something like that so the value of what I'm getting versus the amount of money it costs was hands down actually the main factor. The knowledge behind the brand as well as the value for the brand for, for your money and what you're spending, that made the deciding factor for me to promote those guys and um, enjoy having grateful around here stitching up everything she can get her needles on and i absolutely love it debbie barnett yes you got us live so i want to uh go ahead and start getting into um our show tonight i'm checking the thing and make sure i'm not missing any questions super stoked you got a reply back from me on instagram <laughs> You're welcome. If I'm available and I'm on there and I have an opportunity to reply, I generally do reply. Um, you're welcome, Scooby-Doo. How big around are the tumblers? Okay. You're trying to get the Conde discount. If you get the Conde, your Amazon link isn't here. Okay. I'll look that up and put it on there. Um, the... Conde discount you may have to call them tomorrow and let them know and I'm hope if you already had an account I don't know that it would qualify if you already had an account 
and then you know you switch over and say hey i'm coming from yada yada okay let me i'm sorry y'all let me grab this link and make sure that it's in there and oh here we go um share I think, did I do that right? This is how, okay. Here we go, yas. Okay, so let me throw this. Where do I put it? Oh, right here. I hope it doesn't mess up my um thing trying to do this. Let's see. Amazon. Oh, and I could have probably put it in the um, chat. Alrighty, there we go. So the Amazon store should show up and I'll go ahead and drop it in the chat as well. So there you are, a link to the Amazon store front. Sharif says, what heat press do you recommend? A 15 by 15 or a 16 by 20? <sighs> um, the bell emoji, I think it's, if you go down to where you chat and you click on the little smiley face emoji button, that's how you can pull up your emojis. Because you are a YouTube Who Group member, you get the special emojis. Um, 15 by 15 is what I have. That's the largest press I've been using for the last couple of years. I absolutely love my 15 by 15. Do I wish I had bigger? Yes, I would love to go 16 by 20. And at some point I will. But for right now, I'm there is not very much. I'm sitting here trying to think that I can't do with the 15 by 15. Very little things do I come across where I'm like, oh, I'm have to press it twice or go to a friend's shop who has a 16 by 20 and use theirs. Um, so like a flag, I think was the only thing I've had to do like that. Yeah, a flag. So for the most part, I everything else I can do 15 by 15 so no issues there um, I will come back to last week you mentioned a discount code for creative fabrica and I missed it can you tell us again yes I can as a matter of fact I think that is in the um, if I'm not mistaken that's in the description yeah it's right here so if you look in the description, you will see the discount code and the link to go to to um, get your discount with Creative Fabrica. And it is in the description. If you don't if you're on a mobile device and you don't see the description, just click live chat and the live chat will go away and you'll be able to see the description. And then whenever you're ready to come back in and watch the chat, just click live chat again and then the chat will come back. All right, you guys. So really quickly again this is what we are going to work on this is the old skinny tumbler that i love i love my tumbler and we're going to redo this tumbler today we are also going to do this little camp mug all right now this one and this one we are actually going to do in well the new one we're going to do in the oven all right so the convection oven right there is what we're going to use to do those and that involves using shrink wrap all right so that's going to be uh what we'll do after we do the heat press type stuff because i don't want to knock the power out in here running my heater and the heat press and the oven so we're going to have to do one at a one situation at a time and here is my new tumbler that just came in thank goodness because they were on back order for a couple of months oh man i was so sad and it comes with the metal straw and again these are available at dietrans.com i'll put a link in the chat real quick here shortly and you can order these i think they're still in stock they may not be and if they're not then there will be a back order but i'm pretty sure they're in stock still all righty so this is what we're going to work with and we have to use shrink wrap with this because my heat press is mug press rather is 10 inches roughly and this is way taller than that and to keep from pressing twice we're just going to shrink we're going to put the um image on here shrink wrap it to it to hold it good and tight to it and put it in the oven for the recommended time so that's what we're going to do with both of these actually shrink wrap this as well all righty they also sent some extra goodies 
Um, one of the things that they sent were these uh, coasters. Alrighty. And they look like hardboard um, type coasters. So we're going to sublimate a really cute image on here. And this time I thought ahead and went ahead and printed out the pictures, y'all, so that I wouldn't be doing that in the background. So save us some time. And also a really cute thing that they sent. I was like, oh my goodness, this is totally adorable. So they also, Dye Trans, Condé Systems, uh, they also have jewelry that you can purchase and sublimate as well. And this is one of the pieces that they sent. This is absolutely beautiful. It's like mother of pearl or something. I know it's shale, but I mean, as far as the way it looks, it kind of puts you in the mind of like mother of pearl, like a pearl finish. I don't know how well you can see that with my camera focusing on me. I'm on my hands. Come on, focus, focus, focus. Is it focusing yet? don't know nope I'm still clear cameras they do what they want to do but anyway so this is um nope that didn't work either I'm gonna figure it out but anyway this is gorgeous it's like a little pendant that you can use for a necklace or you can use it for earrings all right so if you get two you can customize your own earrings and this is absolutely beautiful so I'm excited to sublimate this and see how well it's going to sublimate. I've already printed out the, the image that we're gonna put on there and we're going to sublimate that this evening as well. So all of this stuff, the coasters, as well as the shell pendant, and they have other sizes too. It's not just this oval shape. They have round, they have a couple of sizes of round, they have a couple of sizes of the oval. Um, and so just browse through the jewelry and you will find the pendants there now for the folks that were captains all right and were in the live so if you are in here and you are a hoop group captain <clears throat> be sure to check out your personal link it's in the community tab here on youtube your personal link to see the video that was only for captains all right so even if i were to send the link to someone else Say if I wanted um, Scooby-Doo to see the video, if I sent her the link, she can't see it <laughs> because she's not a captain at this point in time. So you guys keep in mind that is an exclusive content thing for just you guys and you have to click the link in order to get to it and you have to actually be a member to have access to it. So even if you try to share the link, it won't work is basically why I said that. Um, but the video was awesome. We had a good time. It was me and one other person in there live at the time right now. I can't for the life of me, remember who it was. And I've been sitting here trying to remember. I know who it was, but my brain isn't letting me remember who it was. Shamina, I think. Um, but at any rate, we were in there and discussing making these purses. But the thing is, I mentioned sublimation. All right. So I made this one. But what I use is a lining for these, all right? Because the, the person, let me actually put this in the link before I forget. It was at badbobbin.com is the name of the website where you can buy this, this pattern. And she actually has a YouTube channel showing how to make these, all right? So if you buy it, you'll see the link on watching how to make these, all right? So if you missed my video you can watch hers for sure and see how to put these together but she uses vinyl so this is marine vinyl um which of course i usually get a lot of vinyl from um like hudson hudson textiles and like here's some of the vinyl that i've gotten recently there's dinos there's um honeycomb got this recently and then there's this rose pattern that has like a textured look to it and then here's some paisley which is the one that i have right here just really cute designs tons and tons of designs on her website that you can get and as you see i like vinyl for my grandsons <laughs> like making them things so you can get a wide assortment of vinyl on her website but what i 
realize part of her pattern, she suggests that you use a felt type material as the lining of your little purse thing. You don't have to line it, but it kind of adds like a little extra sturdiness in my opinion to it. So that's why I was like, eh, I kind of like it. So I'm going to stick with the lining and I did. And this is what I use and it's called Thermo Fuse. I got it from Walmart and it was on clearance where I got it from, but they normally have it in the fabric department. And this stuff is pretty cool. It's not super thick, but it's rigid enough and it has glue on the back. I don't know how well you can see the texture dots on the back of that but it has glue so you can apply heat and attach it to the backside of whatever you need lining on, right? Well, the really cool thing about this is that it's polyester, 100% polyester. So when I make the purse, you put the vinyl on top, when it gets to the step to do the final stitching, you put your vinyl on the top, and you put this on the back, you stitch it out, right? So after you stitch it out, then normally I would go and cut it out to make the purse. But before I cut it out, I took the time to sublimate the back side of it. So the vinyl was face down, the lining was face up, and I took the, the sublimated image and put it on face down, all right? So that the ink and the polyester meets each other put it on the press for 45 seconds and I was able to mimic the same pattern on the outside on the inside so all I did was take an image of this from off of her website showing the vinyl that you can purchase and took that picture and sublimated that picture to the inside of the lining so I was able to match the purse now if I were to do this again because this is much lighter than the inside, I probably would sublimate it for eh, maybe 25 seconds, something like that, so that the sublimation would come out about the same lightness, all right? So that it wouldn't be as dark as it is on the inside. But it's really cool because the handle even has the sublimation on it by sublimating it before cutting it out, I was able to sublimate all of it. Instead of like, for instance, with this one, where the inside is white and you can see my black stitching because I was doing it as a, a test subject and the underside of this is white. I could have taken a picture of this from off of her website, sublimated it to the fabric for the inside and there we would have had a sublimated image to match the inside. So that's a step, a little trick that you also can add to it by being a sublimator. It gives you another option of something fun that you can do with this little project. So I definitely wanted to point that out to the folks that um, first of all were captains in the group and watch the video and second of all if you were to go out and purchase this pattern that adds something else that you can do with your project so cool beans for those who do take the time to do that project post pictures you know we love to see pictures and you can put them right there at thebabiesbooty.com in the hoop group all right so i'm going to slide back and grab our pictures for our sublimation projects off of the printer because i already printed everything out and the cool thing is i um took the time to combine things all right so this is going to be for the camp mug and this is a picture of my babies when they were little tykes at one point in time super cute kids but then they grew up what happened don't know <laughs> and then a cute little saying say you call it chaos we call it family so i thought that was adorable and we're gonna put that there because those are awesomely cute kids that i have fond memories of and then down here on the front side of the pendant we're going to put my daughter's artwork on the back side of the pendant, this is just another version of her same artwork, which I thought was really adorable. So I'm excited to put that on a pendant. Um, I love her artwork. She does a great job. And then this is McQuackens. I also forgot they sent this one as well. This isn't a coaster. It's like um, MDF board, I think is what they call it. Maybe like whiteboard. And it's small, so it could be a magnet. All right, and what I'm gonna do is put McQuackens right here on this part of the cloud and leave the rest blank. So we'll sublimate that as well. I forgot 
about that one and then this and this is going to be for the two coasters uh, so we're going to have a coaster up here and a coaster down here or vice versa i forget which one i made for which so that's what this page is for and then we also have this page which is the new tumblr so these are all the beautiful people that have taken the time out to come up and say hey i'd love to meet you and let's take a picture and i was able to grab a picture with you guys and it's an honor every single time that you do i do enjoy meeting you guys and i am forever grateful to be able to meet you so if you're ever out about and you see me even if i'm looking crazy for whatever reason say i know you're looking crazy but <laughs> and i would love to meet you right so let me go back real quick to the chat and make sure that I'm not missing anything. Um, Patrina says, hello from Alabama. Hello, my dear, how are you? Uh, Linda says, today was your first day you played with the 15 needle, pretty awesome. They are awesome. It is a lot of fun. Um, Patty says, so cute. Yes, it was absolutely cute. And American Eagle says, Leela came to visit and got to see my mess. <laughs> and we had a great visit that's hilarious. She would have seen a mess here too, so don't feel bad. Felicia Storm, hello. Thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. We definitely appreciate that. Um, and you say hello from Birmingham. Welcome from Alabama. <laughs> um, let's see, let's see, let's see. So, Aisha Earth, please make sure that that Amazon link showed up. Let me know if it did not. Um, oh, Diana, I never did answer your question. I apologize. How big around are the tumblers? Diana, let's see we have our trusty rusty tape measure and we are going to go around the circumference of our tumbler and was that nine and a quarter inches a little, little smidge wider than nine and a quarter smidge so you want to make sure that your image that you're printing is at least nine and smidge over a quarter wide. All right. And then tall, let's go ahead and grab that while we're at it. So tall, we want to make sure it's at least uh, eight inches tall. Can you see that? Probably not because of the angle and the way I am awkwardly holding the tape measure. <laughs> so eight inches tall um let us see gloria colvin says hello eve and everyone from arizona hashtag who group hello my dear welcome thank you for coming and joining us this evening uh american eagle embroidery and graphics i got my four in one mug heat press from heat press nation she said four in one y'all we ain't playing no games four mugs at a time <laughs> Woo! congratulations four in one four in one holler that's what's up. So when I need to do another big mug order, I can come see you. Okay, cool. <laughs> Looking forward to it because, oh, the last time. Well, how many mugs did I do? I think it was like 250 and I was struggling with my one heat press. Um, let's see. 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 Linda says, thank you so much. I'll be learning and learning. Thank you, ma'am. We appreciate that. And let us know if there's something you would like to learn um you can overwrite the auto open didn't know that mm, shamina stewart hello even everyone late but i made it welcome welcome thank you for joining us marge campbell hello michelle anderson hello welcome to the both of you andrea michelle well hello my dear welcome thank you as well for being a youtube who group member we definitely appreciate the support <laughs> um sarah says hi first time in live welcome thank you for joining us please if you already tried easy subly on t-shirt cotton how about washability and durability thank you i have not tried easy subly as of yet not yet so hopefully we'll get to try it soon i haven't um really been doing t-shirts very much lately so um may need to go ahead and get back into it so that that can be something else to show on the channel 
Um, Vicki Lemire says, hello, new here, welcome. Thank you for joining us, Miss Vicki. I love having you in here with us. It's a pleasure. Um, let's see, let's see. Cake Angel 25, hello, new here, greetings from Atlanta. Ooh, you're not far. I'm trying to get back down that way <laughs> to visit. So welcome. Thank you for joining us. I'll have to let you know when I come down that way. Linda says, for puff embroidery, is there a certain thickness that is recommended or does it matter? Mm, it depends. You can talk to the designer of the embroidery design because there are some puff designs that are made for super thick foam. All right. And you can get the super thick foam from allstitch.com. They have it in varying thicknesses. Um, but otherwise, if the designer doesn't mention a certain thickness, then you could just stick with the standard foam and um, it should work for you. So usually if it's a super thick design, they'll let you know, because if you use standard foam, it probably won't puff the way it's supposed to. So they want you to get success out of your stuff. So just check with the designer if you do have a question on that. Um, American Eagle says, I had an account from years ago and the discount worked for me. Oh, thank you. Thank you for letting me know that. I really appreciate knowing that because I was not sure. Um, oh, thank you, Andrea Michelle, for the $10 emoji. That's awesome. Thank you, ma'am. I appreciate your support. All of you guys, I definitely appreciate Y'all just don't know. I really appreciate it any assistance you guys give to this channel it is awesome sauce because buying this type of stuff is a fool <laughs> it can get quite pricey after a while uh willa allen says greetings everyone hello hello i'm trying to get through and make sure i don't miss something important um gail mcnair from tucson hello my dear kathy young says hello thank you miss kathy young for being a who group member youtube um I've been watching to learn embroidery. Thank you for your help. You're welcome. You are welcome. You are welcome. Can you sub on white vinyl and make your own pattern as well? That would be super cute. I don't know um, because Hudson Textiles, she prints. She has a printer that prints on her vinyl. She doesn't sublimate her vinyl. Um, so it would be interesting to see if you could. I haven't tried, um, but I do know that when I put um this vinyl in i had the vinyl down and the uh felt faced up this vinyl got super not squishy but it was like really 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 soft so i don't know if it would be able to stand the heat long enough direct heat to be able to sublimate on it but that, that's a good question and i'll check into it because i don't know what the vinyl is made out of if it's a poly type material then yeah you should be able to sublimate on it but we'd have to find out um debbie barnett i'm sorry you keep losing us oh i'm sorry are you using an inkjet printer gail asked i am using an epson inkjet printer yes but i am using sublimation ink in the epson inkjet printer i'm not using the ink that comes normally with the epson printer janet mckinney welcome my dear and thank you <laughs> i appreciate that thank you very much Shell Bell, I love your videos. Thank you, Shell Bell. I love your name, Shell Bell. I had a cousin named Shell Bell. She was sweet as she could be. Uh, Terry Ponce, hello, hello, welcome. Leslie Watley, hello from Connecticut. Daryl Stephenson, greetings from Vancouver. Love the channel. Welcome from Vancouver. We appreciate you definitely being here. Sharon Edge Harley, hello from the DMV. Hey, girl, you ain't far. You're right around the corner. Welcome. Just up the road, just up the road. Shell Belser is from the Big D, Dallas, Texas. I really want to get into embroidery. What is an inexpensive machine you can start with? By the way, you can buy printable vinyl. Yes, you can buy printable vinyl, but I'm not sure. Is it, are you thinking of the right kind of vinyl? Because this isn't like t-shirt vinyl or um, HTV or 651 or 631 this is much thicker than that it's almost like an imitation leather so it would have to be imitation leather thickness that you can sublimate on if you know that then cool that's good to know but otherwise this is like a imitation leather so it's a little bit different um you can sub on white glitter yes now that i do know but again this is a little bit different um from 
that and an inexpensive machine i do have links in the amazon store as well for embroidery machines so the four by four or maybe the five by seven if you're just really starting really 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 small and you don't have the budget for a few thousand to buy a multi-needle machine then yes you can start with the at least the five by seven and you can make really cute projects like this and i'm more than positive these would be a hit selling to all kinds of crowds because like i said the younger girls would love to use this and put their lipsticks in um you can use this and put the hole in the back for the doggy poop bags i mean it's just a wide array of things that you can use these totally cute purses for so definitely um check that out and scooby-doo i'm gonna need you to not be sick oh my gosh y'all uh we got this germs everywhere <laughs> um the little one has the flu oh no y'all okay let's spray the lysol and get the sublimating so let's get to sublimating here so i'm going to take the time and cut these things out and go ahead and get us started so what i'm going to do is go ahead and cut out the camp mug paper but we're not going to start with that yet because i'm going to have to shrink wrap that and put it in the oven so we'll go ahead and start with the coasters and then we'll do the necklace because i'm nervous about the necklace because it is totally adorable and i don't want to mess it up all right so cut this out now, I also want to tell you guys about another product that I have purchased from Conde, from Dye Trans. And this stuff, I'm trying to tell y'all, I wish I had have known about it a long time ago. All right, so here's one of the first designs for one of the first coasters. I'm hoping, I was trying to get this thing, to, there we go. My daughter loves octopus octopi however you want to say it and she drew this herself the the crazy one that comes in here and talks about getting something to eat all the time she drew this herself and so i'm going to put it on the coaster if it's wide enough let's see just barely so this let's see is probably going to have um, some white showing because I didn't really make it. Can you see that? Like it's all the way to the edge up top, but look at the bottom. I didn't make it wide enough. Should have measured better. But I also was trying to um, get the template. Oh, you know what? And this has a coating on it. So I need to take this coating off as well. Before you sublimate. Some things you can see if it's hazy that there's a coating and you will need to remove the the protective um see protective plastic on it and expose the super shiny super shiny all right so the product that i was going to tell you guys about is this right here it is ditrans pro spray i don't know what in the world is in this can other than pro spray adhering sublimation transfer paper blah 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 glue yada yada glue yada yada this stuff is the gospel i love this stuff now the downside to this stuff is it is super duper sticky and you have to be really careful where you spray it because if you like if i were to spray it right here and not have something up under it my floor would be sticky <laughs> my feet would be sticky so you really need to be careful with this stuff and make sure that when you spray it you're spraying it on something so let me grab the box that i was using to spray this stuff and i'm gonna have to get something bigger for the mug so this is what i was using just a little box and i'm going to spray the front side of this so that i can adhere it to the coaster so just a little squirt, it doesn't take much. Now, some of the other things like the um, this spray here, the 505, it doesn't work. It did not work for me. It ended up putting spatters on my 
uh, sublimated item and it looked tragic so I would not suggest using that to sublimate to adhere your sublimation stuff I would not at all actually let's do it this way alrighty so it does glue it to the paper to your substrate rather but it will allow you to take it off and reposition as needed so so it's glued on it's not going anywhere and what I'm going to do because I have it just too short I'm gonna cut off some of this extra and see if I can't stick it down there so that the color now it may sublimate with a line I hope not but it might and if so I'm not worried about it because again this is something for me as y'all know I try to sublimate stuff that I can use for myself so if it doesn't do 100% right it's no big deal alrighty and because it was already sticky from the glue it's going to stick by itself and we're going to cut another one another triangle and I'm gonna cover this other one all right boom just like that so now the entire coaster has rabbit ears but it is covered so we have this one and I'm gonna set it to the side for right now and do the other coaster we'll go ahead and do both at the same time now this one didn't have the protective film on it it see the shiny reflection so we don't have to worry about peeling that off so I'm going to lay this in place so that I can cut it out and you can kind of see the picture through the paper so that I can make sure it's centered when I do cut it out um, and actually to make my life easier I'm going to trace around it so that I'll know where to cut and I can take this and set it down alrighty so I'm going to cut this Now all of these, as I mentioned, the spray, the um, coasters, the magnet cloud, and the pendant all come, and the cups, they all come from ditrans.com. So now we're gonna spray the front of this for the other coaster. Alrighty. like I said it's super sticky so keep that in mind when you are sublimating getting ready to sublimating and spraying this alrighty lined up stuck on nice alright so that's one other coaster and now the little magnet I think they're the same thickness let me take a look at that because if they're the same thickness we'll sublimate this too mm, right there at it so we'll sublimate this as well and this has a film on it so I'm gonna have to peel that off and make sure there aren't any let's see does it require special paper for the printer technically no but for best for the best results yes you want to get sublimation paper and that is also in the link on my amazon store i personally use um a sub which is on amazon conde at dietrans.com they sell sublimation paper as well i don't know what brand though because i love my a sub love it very very much and don't really unless somebody can convince me otherwise that what they have is better i'm sticking with the a so because my grandpa used to say if it ain't broke don't fix it and that's 
where we are right now. So there's McQuackens, him's all glued. So we're gonna put him on the cloud. So I figure I'll slide him toward the back of the cloud. And that way, if I want to put a little message right here on the front of that magnet, I can. So we have one magnet and two coasters ready to go on the heat press. Now, I need to make sure of the time and the temperature for the coasters. So I'm going to look that up really quickly because I forgot to look that up but I want to make sure that it's done correctly. Um, there we go, hardboard. Um, let's see if it tells me what I needed to tell me. A minute and 15 seconds. So we're looking at 75 seconds for these, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead, take these over to the heat press, move my glue out the way. And then after we finish that, then we'll do this because you wanna make sure that um, like this is thicker. So I'm gonna have to adjust the height on the top part of the heat press so that it'll come down and press like it's supposed to on our shell. All right, so I'm gonna use this poker chip because I was gonna sublimate the poker chip tonight as well, but I decided not to. So hopefully my thing is long enough to reach barely look at that oh my gosh and i'm gonna use this poker chip okay oh i lost y'all hang on all right so i'm gonna put y'all right here Hopefully you can hear me right there. And we're going to put fresh paper on the heat press. And I can't find my normal paper that I use. I don't know where it is. All right. So here is a fresh piece of butcher paper. And we are going to take it up what did we say 75 seconds five all right and let's take our magnet our coaster and our other coaster and put it on our heat press and lock it down all right so let me check and make sure there aren't any question other questions um for the sublimation it looked tragic hilarious yeah it, it did look tragic justin says hey miss even who group hey justin uh, i am prepared i have the heat gun i had to go to the other garage and get it but i have the heat gun so we are gonna be heat gunning tonight y'all i is excited i is excited uh, Angelia says, sorry, I'm late, been working on a bag, no worries. Tanya says, how can I join the YouTube Hoop group? If you look down below our video, there should be a red subscribe button. If you don't see the red subscribe button, especially if you're on a mobile device, just click live chat, make the chat go away. The red subscribe button should show up beside it is a blue join button. If you're already a subscriber, then there should be a blue join button beside subscribed showing that you're already subscribed to the channel. If you click the join button, that's how you can become a YouTube Who Group member. And we definitely appreciate you even interested in joining up with us. Um, let us see um let me see let me see let me see let me see john hey john <laughs> how are you it ain't hump, it ain't hump day all right let's grab these off and when i tell y'all everything coming off this printer is always smoking hot so i'm gonna set this down on a surface that will let it cool right here in front of my computer. So 
So right there in front of my computer is a glass surface so it can cool off right there. And we'll touch it after it cools off some because that is smoking hot. All right, image facing up or down. So the, um, like for instance, we're gonna use this as an example. If I were going to sublimate this coaster, I would take this image and lay it face down on the surface and then put it in the heat press just like this so that the heat is coming down on top of the back side of the image. All right, and let the image, the heat permeate through and push that ink into the surface so that it can absorb the ink and become a permanent part of the surface. Conde uses text print. Okay, I, I didn't get good results out of text print myself personally, but I could have been using it wrong. So I have to double check again. Um, Gloria Colvin says, do the nozzle from clog on the spray? No, no, it does not. Gloria, you talking about this? No, I have yet. I have yet to even wash it. It looks like it's gunked up right now, which of course is not going to focus on it, but I have yet, yet to worry about this not spraying. That's why I said, I don't know what kind of magic they did with this stuff, voodoo or whatever you want to call it. This stuff is crazy. It doesn't clog. It sprays this really fine mist. It doesn't show up when you heat press stuff. I just, I just can't, I don't know. And, and I've used this so many times and it still feels like it's almost full. So you get a lot of use out of this can as well. So it's just, it's crazy. It's crazy. You guys just, I just, I love that stuff. It's crazy. Scooby-Doo says awesome artwork. Thank you. I absolutely love her artwork. She does an excellent job. Um, Dietrans also has their own brand of sublimation paper. Did not know that. Thank you for letting me know. We'll have to give it a shot. I'll call them and see if they can't send us some to play with. Um, Shamina says, do you still use the copy paper to sub? The only time I use copy paper. Okay, so someone asked, uh, do you have to have special paper? And I said, technically, no. I mean, technically, yes. But you can use plain paper. You can use plain paper to sublimate with. However, what I found out is there is a difference. And I keep this right here beside me to show y'all every time this comes up. So if you were doing a t-shirt, fine. I would say use the copy paper uh, because I didn't see too big of a difference with a t-shirt. But I did these keychains, all right? So hard surface and I use sublimation paper versus copy paper. So here's the baseball keychain. And even though I messed up and made that line right there, but here's the baseball. All right. It's my dad's brand. No look official sports brand. So here's the baseball um, keychain and here's the baseball with copy paper. Sorry about that. Here's the one with copy paper. So this is copy paper. This is sublimation paper. Look at the difference. The clarity, the black is richer and blacker, and you definitely can see it on this side. This one is sublimation and this one is copy paper. So it will sublimate and you'll be able to tell what it is and it looks pretty decent, but it's not, it looks like, uh, how did they use, I don't know what they used to call it. Whenever you have static in the TV way, way, way back in the day, for those of you in here old enough to know that when you would get static in the TV, that's what this looks like. Whereas this looks like HD, you know what I'm saying? You don't have to worry about no static nor nothing. So with the sublimation paper, your prints are truer and clearer and they look much better. So yes, you can use plain paper in a pinch or whatever. But if you want high quality, you would want to stick with sublimation, not plain copy paper. All right. Um, image facing up and down. Your image should be facing down. So your picture should be touching the top of the surface that's going to be sublimated. Oh, thank you, John. Not really. I just like to do a lot of stuff. <laughs> Kristen, don't you need to sandwich the butcher paper so the, the off gas won't mask the top of your heat press? 
I haven't had an Im an image um, ghost on the top in a while um, or come through. It's been a while since I've had that happen. So I kind of just go with it and don't put something up there. But if it's something really, really, really important and a customer's order that I really definitely don't need any issues with, yes, I will cover it with the top sheet. But uh, for simple stuff like this, no, I don't. Um, and a lot of it depends. My yellow gloves are back there behind me. I haven't used them. Just watching the show. Thank you, John. I appreciate it and welcome. We always love having you in here. You're welcome, Tanya. Um, all right. My Condé spray has lasted me over two years. It is fantastic and it lasts a really long time. Two years, y'all. Two years. I'm trying to tell you. And it hasn't clogged up yet, has it, Becky? Has it clogged? Because mine has yet to clog. I just, I'm just saying. I don't have like a sink to rinse it out off here. White noise. Oh, that's what it was called. Okay, thank you. White noise. <laughs> Um, not sure what's going on when I hit subscribe. It asked me to unsubscribe. Yeah, you don't want to do subscribe. You want to do join. So if you see the button, it's a blue button that should say join. If it's not there, um, what did they tell me? If it's not there, there was a reason why your oh, you have to be logged into your YouTube account. If I'm remembering them correctly, you have to be logged in and you have to have a way set up ha your account has to be set up where you can actually join um stuff yours hasn't clogged either that's what i'm trying to tell you all right so let's start with the dog ear coaster where i had to piece it together and see what it looks like let's peel this off y'all's hunty y'all's you can barely tell you can barely tell can you see There we go, clarity, camera clarity. You can barely see the little line down there at the bottom where I had to piece it together. But this is my daughter's octopus. I forget what she named this crazy thing. She named the octopus, but whatever, she's crazy. But she did a beautiful job on him, he's gorgeous. So here's a coaster, it turned out really pretty. Can you use tape versus that spray glue? Yes, you can yes you definitely can don't we don't rule out the tape and we're going to use the tape for the tumbler all right well no we're not because we're going to shrink wrap it what am i talking about yes you can use tape we may use the tape for the pendant now i'll probably use the tape for the pendant all right so that was the scalloped coaster here is the whoo oh that turned out pretty here is the hexagon coaster alrighty camera focus no y'all I'm gonna have to do like a manual focus camera or something I don't understand why my camera be tripping I apologize okay there we go I think there's this coaster absolutely gorgeous that glossy finish I love it alright and here is the magnet for the cloud shaped magnet. And we're gonna take McQuackens off of here. Uh oh, I might have should have peeled it while it was hot. And my daughter took me to the nail salon today, so I got cute, cute fingernail buffing polish, and so my nails is crazy. Uh oh, I put Okay, so I rubbed it with dirty fingers and put that black mark on there. So that line beside him is because of my dirty, dirty fingers. But he's a magnet and I can put hello or write something right here with the dry erase marker and make him a cute little magnet to put on something in here because I got tons of crap to put him on. Or I can hang him on the pegboard over there and he can be a cute decoration there. So that turned out cute too. Uh, isn't it cute so we got three things sublimated so far and it's just 11 18. <laughs> so let's go ahead and move to the tumbler move to the tumbler oh no sorry the necklace what am i talking about oh i about messed up because that's gonna be my favorite well one of my favorite parts because i'm excited about the tumbler too all right so let's cut out around the necklace some not a whole lot but enough to where 
I can tape it down. So I'm gonna tape down the pendant, okay? I'm not gonna glue the pendant, we're gonna use tape. And my tape is right here. So we're gonna use our tape and this tape came from Amazon as well. And I'm pretty sure this is double-sided, pretty sure, all right? So we're gonna start with the definite smoothest side. And I'm gonna do the hard part first because I'm gonna try and line this up with this oval and pray it does not come outside this oval and have white on it. And so far, y'all's hunty, y'all's, that girl be a measuring fool sometimes. Look. You barely can see that it's just barely inside the overlap. So I don't have to worry. I'm sorry. I wish it had focused better. So I don't have to worry about having white coming through. All right. And just to be 100% sure this sucker don't move, we're going to tape top and bottom. And again, now that I sit here and think about it, I did not look up to see what time can you barely see the the outline so this is going to sublimate completely i'm super excited about that so let's go to look up the time on the jewelry uh, jewelry luma shell this is called luma shell that's right i forgot to tell y'all that um whoops they have diamond shape round shape oval shape heart shape uh, uh rectangle tall rectangle not super tall but tall a fan shape a larger diamond shape a larger circle shape a larger oval shape i'm just telling y'all this this is nice so they have other options available for this and instructions for this says 375 degrees for three minutes 375 for three minutes so we're gonna have to drop the temperature on our heat press and increase the time to three minutes all right so that's 120 seconds three minutes 60 60 and 60 six times three is 180 minutes did i do my math right y'all y'all know i hate math y'all know i hate math <laughs> please tell me i did that right six times three is 18. Those turned out gorgeous, and even most of them are doing the original artwork. Very talented daughter. That shell pendant is delicate. I know, that's why I said I'm super scared about it. You gonna send me the tumbler? It has to be a special tumbler, John. I can't use just any tumbler, unfortunately. So it has to be one from that company um, or another sublimation company because their stuff has a special coating on it. So we're gonna drop our temperature to 375. All right. And increase our time to 180. All right, and I'm gonna set this here so that it can be ready to go on. I'm gonna give it time for the temperature to drop on that heat press because I, as she pointed out, it is delicate. I don't want this thing to break, y'all, because I will just be real sad. And I don't want to be real sad on camera with y'all because <laughs> I'm super excited about doing this pendant. And let me double check, too, and make sure that, because it says light pressure, so the pressure is going to be pretty light um, on this. Let's see. Uh, pro spray no substrate attached transfer face down okay because I wanted to make sure that some stuff you do substrate up in the the image on the bottom but this one is the other way around so I'm very glad to see that so that we make sure we do that correctly um, if the nozzle clogs on the pro spray take it off and soak it in some acetone nice john they have several types of tumblers i don't even have um because like i said there's the skinny tumbler there's um i got this camp mug 
They also have this type of mug. They have the bigger tall tumblers that are like tall and then fat at the top and skinny at the bottom. Those aren't my favorite, but they do have them. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of them out there. So while that cools down, let's go ahead and put our uh, image on our tumbler. All right. So actually, I'm going to start with the small one because it's already cut out and ready to go. Okay. Now, I meant to refresh myself on how to do the, because you can do a full sublimation on these mugs with the shrink wrap through the handle and everything, but I forgot to look it up. I should be ashamed because I should have looked it up. I could get joined up, don't have a blue button, even switch to my laptop instead of my phone, still nothing, I try it. No worries. What I'll do is look it up um, and see how to do that. With the coating, what about the coating you can buy to make items ready to sublimate? Um, I have not tried that and I will tell you why. The reason why I have not is because from what I've heard, it doesn't work very well. Um, and from, my knowledge Conde doesn't sell it <clears throat> Ditrans doesn't sell it but um it doesn't work very well from what I hear and I could be wrong on that all right let's pull this over and we're gonna cut this so that we can get around this handle I think that's how she did it I don't remember and I really should have paid that's one of those situations where you're like I should have paid better attention in class yeah yeah you should have all right so I did cut it and I got it to go around the handle it looks as I said earlier looks a little tragic but we're gonna make this work for the first time of me even trying to sublimate under the handle and we're gonna tape this first before we heat shrink it. And I hear my heat press clicking back there so it's ready for the pendant, but I'm gonna tape this down first. All right. And then we're gonna tape this down as well. And it kind of is gonna answer another question because I'm wondering if that handle sublimates too on this camp. I drink a lot of coffee, so this is going to be totally awesome. All right, so we have it taped down, but you want it to evenly hold on to this cup all the way around. So we're going to have to heat shrink, put some heat shrink around this and shrink it to the cup so that we make sure that it's going to stick really good to this cup, okay? And let's go ahead and press our pendant because it's going to take what we say three minutes all right so actually let me take this off because i want to make sure the pressure is not okay so here's our pendant all right and i put it with the shell side down and the paper side is up with the image facing down to the shell. All right. And just for the heck of it, I'm going to go ahead and sandwich it in 180 seconds. Then we're going to have us a purdy necklace, y'all. Purdy necklace. And while that's cooking for the next three minutes, we're going to go ahead and put our image on our mug. So if you are in any one of these pictures, Say me. Oh my God. I would love to know if you're here. So if you see yourself, I know this person is in here. So if you see yourself, say me. I would love to know that you're here and that you're about to be on a mug. My mug. My my new mug. Okay. All right. So we're going to cut this out.
I don't correct is the instrument of the devil. Yes. Oh God. Don't I know. Justin saw himself. I forgot. Yep, Justin is on here. Hello, Teresa Spencer. How are you, my dear? Welcome. Welcome. The information I've seen seems to be positive for the fabric coating. You have to also use the decizer first. Yeah. Um, and that's a lot to go through. I mean, it can be done, but... Oh, and we definitely want to take our lid off of our tumbler before we sublimate it, all right? Because this plastic is not made for the oven. All right. Tumbler. And so now we're going to take this. Why does it look like I made it too tall again? Oh, it'll be all right. Yeah, it'll be all right. Alrighty, and we're going to wrap right on around. And it's going to overlap just a smidgety smidge, which that looks to be fine as well. Alright, smidgety smidge. And we're going to tape it, okay? Because we don't want this to come loose while we are heat shrinking. Okay, taping it down, taping it down, around town. All right, so we're taping it. Ha! Womp, 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 you're not, nope, you're not on there. You should be, actually, now that I think about it. Ha! That's a bad friend. Yes, I am. You're going to get your own special cup, the whole thing. Matter of fact, I might make this our special cup. I don't know. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna find a special cup just for you. Yes, I is. All right. So here is here are these two. What is that sound? That sounds like a pendant that is done cooking. And we definitely don't want it in there too long. All right. Ooh. Okay, so here is our pendant sandwiched. So let me get myself together. Ooh, it's 11.30 already. How long did we, I gotta look up how long this cup cooks so I can make sure we got enough time. Ouch, this shell is hot. All right. All right, all right, all right. Oh man, oh man, y'all, wow, wow, ouch, oh man, this is so pretty, this is crazy how pretty this is, that turned out prettier than I thought it was, oh my god, and it is hot, wow, that's pretty, that's crazy. And then I scented it perfectly. Y'all, I'm gonna have to, I just, uh. Okay, let me see if I can touch this so I can show it to you because this sucker is hot. Ooh, that's still hot. Ooh, 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 hot. Okay, you know what? It's still a little bit hot, but not as bad. Look at that. And I just, uh, I wish you could see the, 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 oh, gosh, come on, camera. I really want y'all to see the, like, pearl look it gives to the picture. Come on, focus. Y'all have got to see that because it is amazing. Oh, man, there we go. There we go. Can you see? The pearl sheen it gives. I don't know. Let's see.
it's like an iridescent or something i don't even know how to explain it it is just beautiful oh that is so pretty i am so glad i chose her picture for the, i'm just trying not to get this is so pretty all right so on the opposite side i wanted it full color on the front but on the back just the um just him by himself so we're gonna go ahead and put this on there and make sure he's straight because his cousin is straight on the front and we're going to tape this down oh man that turned out beautiful absolutely gorgeous that is crazy how gorgeous oh, you know what well i'll show it on something different see if i can't take a up close picture of something so that y'all can see it a little bit better all right so we're gonna do the other side i taped it down all right let's see if that's gonna show no Ugh. i'm gonna have to come up with a better way for y'all to be able to focus on stuff and quit it focusing on the background but anyways all right no torturing myself and I'm gonna put this on oops sorry all right so that was the now we're doing the back side and I'm gonna pick up this trash off the floor I've been trying to keep things clean and tidy tidy bowl and while that's cooking and my trash is being thrown away, I'm gonna grab the shrink wrap, which is right here. All right, and we'll grab a sheet of shrink wrap out. Okay. So it's just a sleeve as you see this is actually a little too big for the tumbler but we can make adjustments there we go smoosh this to the underside to keep it from um, sliding down again Oh, I guess it would help if I plugged up the heat gun, wouldn't it? Justin, you were supposed to tell me that. All right, so here is the shrink wrap. And I'm going to actually let's slide it up in there. So, whoops, wrong thing. Not you. Shrink wrap. There we go. All right. All right, so here is our tumbler, all shrink wrapped it And I'm gonna tape that over just to keep it skinny. And I'm gonna lay it down, because how much time do we have? 64 seconds. And this needs to be shrink wrapped it as well. I like my new vernacular, my new vocabulary. Okay, and so I'm going to see how tall this is and cut it. So it won't be just overly large and wasting shrink wrap. and we're going to how did we do that I can't remember all 
Hopefully I'm doing this right. I can't remember. All right. off because we're getting ready to use the um, oven not the heat press all right so put this back I'm trying to losing my mind briefly go around the handle without there we go all righty and I'm I wanted my handle out some I'm gonna tape that down so that we can get that good and close and then I'm going to tape this down as well and then I'm going to plug up my heat press somewhere. Not heat press, heat gun. So that we can do some shrink wrapped it in. I'm going to plug it up back there. All right. That's still a little big. But it'll be all right. Because the bottom is not what's as, as important as it is the sides make sure our sides are good and shrink wrapped it in t pink you finally made it welcome welcome yeah that would be a good idea she looked cushion berry uh make a charm bracelet with the baby's artwork that's an excellent idea actually i'm gonna have to do that because she has now she has several um art designs that i absolutely love and would be devastated if something happened to it so i think i just may have to do that even though she's not really and i know i'm probably not supposed to plug this into a drop cord but guess what we finna plug it into a drop cord today all right so let me warn you guys ahead of time Justin is the heat gun professional. I am not. And I am a novice at heat, heat shrinking. <laughs> well, we can read heat shrink today. So I'm going to start it out on low, make sure that it does what it's supposed to right away. And then if we need to, we'll move it to high. But you want to shrink wrap it so that we can get it to um, cling really tight and hold that transfer good and close to the mug, okay? And this will burn you. It's not like a hair dryer. Usually there are flames coming out of the front of this thing if it's on high, so you really wanna be careful with it. And to let you guys see, it's shrink wrapping to it. See how it's melting to the cup? That's what you want to see. Up, oh, up. Oh. I'm getting that heat. What did Justin say? Get my glove. Yes, sir, Justin. I'm getting my glove. Get my glove. All right. All right, so our shrink wrap should look like a second skin on this thing. <laughs> That's when you know you've done what you're supposed to do. So we're going to set that down. And next, I'm going to do this, the skinny tumbler. And again, it was on low. I didn't have to have it on high. So as you see, it's clinging to the cup. I'm doing 
doing good, Justin. Look at me. Inside joke. Sorry. Alrighty. Oh, look like y'all probably missed a good bit of that, but I apologize. So we done shrink wrapped it in both cups. All right. So both of them are done. So now I'm going to go ahead and plug up and turn on the oven, which I did not do. And we got 15 minutes to get these things done. And once we get these, this plugged up and turned on and heated up, then we'll put the mugs in the oven mean and then we'll look at the other side of the charm now that i've given it time to cool off so i'm gonna set this right here turned on the oven actually let me move super sheet so he won't have toasty buns mm -hmm. all right get everything flammable meltable and all that jazz out of the way so now we're heating up the oven Let's look at our pendant that I can touch. It's cold, y'all. So that feels much better. Okay, I got it a little off center, but it is still beautiful. This is crazy, y'all. How pretty this is. Um, trying to find, oh, you know what? Let's see if this works since it has sticky on it. Let's see. Can that work? Is it focusing like it's supposed to? Probably not still. Still not focusing like I want it to do. I can't win with that. All right. So here is the other side. Can't get it to catch the light like I wanted to. But it is beautiful. Let me see if this works. There you can see some of that sheen in there. See it? Ah, oh, yas. Yas, pinky y'all. So just need a light. Look at that. Forgive my crazy looking cuticles. And then here's the other side. that sheen to it that thing is just gorgeous absolutely love it absolutely love it so yes the pendant 10 out of 10 we'll be ordering more of these because these are cute absolutely cute she's gonna love this i don't know we might have to fight over this one or i'll order another one and we'll get her one and make her another one or make me another one and give this to her i mean after all it is her artwork but i'm mother so mothers get to choose first <laughs> at least at least that's the way it should be all right so learning a lot from you thanks you're welcome Kristen. so pretty i've seen people put the hole in their design so they can line that up um i thought of that but because i'm doing this on the fly um I just went with it <laughs> but yes if I was gonna be doing this and selling those yeah we would need to make sure everything lines up just so and that would help um, you were worried about the sheep I was too um, modern Giselle hello how are you my dear welcome thank you for joining us this evening I need you to stop playing and be safe in these streets yes ma'am I appreciate that Suzanne go grand go <laughs> hey love you were on this mug too you were on here 
you are on here as well and you're gonna be on the new one as well y'all welcome my dear oh mike my bad is way over here my bad hello leah how are you um yes an oven mitt would work so definitely and i need to make sure we are on 400 oh let me look and see how long it's supposed to be in the um oven because i did forget to look that up um whoops nope that's not what i want because i forget and then because that was a while ago that i did it i'm not going to remember These are mugs. Let me type so that I can. Um. Okay. Here we go. And this says that we six minutes. Six minutes. Do we have six minutes? We have six minutes six minutes at 360 so let me set my timer alexa set a timer for six minutes six minutes starting now actually alexa cancel she didn't hear me alexa cancel the timer <laughs> six minute timer cancel I guess I should have did it after putting them in the oven. That makes sense. Hold on. <laughs> then we'll set the timer after I get them in the oven. Hold on. All right. Alexa, set a timer for six minutes. Six minutes, starting now. And the shrink wrap is actually in there shrinking some more. So, all right, y'all, six minutes. We'll take these out. We'll peel them off and we will um, have us some sublimated mugs. Yas. Driving my Alexa nuts, my bad. Oh, and I said it again. Well, mine don't hear me, but her timer is still up. Um, who else has an A-L-E-X-A? -E I hope I didn't wake anybody else's up. <laughs> so let's recap really quickly. First of all, if you are not uh, one of the hoop group captains, you're missing out. We're going to have a project that we do uh live exclusively friday evenings once a month and you get a free pattern with it um and we will enjoy ourselves we're going to have a good time in there and it's an exclusive live for just us only uh so look for that if you are a hoop group captain also if you're a hoop group captain and you haven't gotten your code for your free pattern email me and let me know so that i can go ahead and send it to you also um you are able to be a youtube hoop group member if you click the join button if you don't have one i'm gonna look into that i forget the reason why they said um if that join doesn't show up and i'm pretty sure it has something to do with how your youtube account is set up whether you're logged in to be able to do that or not but i'll have to look into it further and give more of an explanation but for the time being if you would like to we would really appreciate your support to our channel um, this was a really fun, super quick project to stitch out. Putting it together takes a little bit of time, not too much. It's, it's just two pieces and it's grommets and, you know, just hardware actually to put it together. Uh, so you'll need a hole punch, you'll need grommets, you'll need um, uh, snaps as well. So there's some extra materials to go with it. But for the most part, these are really fun, easy to whip up. 
and you can make some good money off of these also keep in mind if you get polyester lining you can sublimate it and sublimate it to match the outside of the vinyl that you're using and i'm sure you could use um other materials other than vinyl but it would need to be something a little stiff um, and a little sturdy that you can use to make these with also we sublimated um, a magnet today which was a lot of fun with McQuackens on it and we sublimated coasters which was fun thank you to Conde systems for sending us these to have some fun with and we have other stuff a box full of goodies from them that we really need to get around to sublimating and showing you guys how to sublimate on this stuff. It's a lot of fun. Um, so we'll be planning those here soon and shortly. And also we sublimated a necklace charm. Basically it's a shell pendant um, that I put it in the bag so that we don't lose it or drop it with my daughter's artwork on it. And it turned out absolutely cute and adorable. I absolutely love this. So we're gonna have to get the hardware to make this into a necklace and I'm sure she will love and enjoy that. I also wanna let you guys know that also on Sundays, if you're into embroidery and you would like more embroidery instruction and embroidery videos, my dear friend at So Sweet Monogramming, uh, Miss Alexis, she does lives on Facebook on Sundays at 5 p.m. So Sweet Monogramming. Last week she did an umbrella which was a lot of fun to watch her stitch that out. So definitely check her out on Facebook if you're on there. It's So Sweet Monogramming um, and she does a 5 p.m. Uh, video every Sunday. And she's also the creator behind the perfect planner that I told you guys about before. This is an embroidery planner where you can fill this out and um, get your jobs lined up. You see, I started on it and just did not finish because that job was making me mad. But anyways, um, so here's where you can write out all the materials, the thread colors, the thread count, the sizes, all that cool stuff, and have your paperwork all together so that when you need to go back to do the job again, everything you need is in one place. And she also has goals in here at the back that you can write down your goals for the month, for the year. Um, it's just, this was a really well thought out planner for the embroidery business owner. And so the same lady that created this, she does So Sweet Monogramming live on Facebook on Sunday. So definitely check her out. Um, I'm trying to think next week, we might do sublimation again. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, because I have something in mind for sublimation, but we might end up going back to embroidery. Depends. So I'll let you guys know in the community tab here on YouTube midweek sometime to let you know what the plan is for this coming Sunday uh, of what our project is going to be in the Baby's Booty Studio. So I definitely appreciate all of you guys uh, tuning in. The memberships definitely appreciate those. Uh, if you would like, you can join the hoop group here at thebabiesbooty.com. It's free of charge to join the regular hoop group. It's a forum uh, where you can post uh, pictures of the projects that you're working on, ask questions, the whole nine. And so Alexa is now telling me that my six minute timer is up. So let's go ahead and we'll snatch these mugs out of the oven and see what they look like. Alexa, dismiss the timer. She didn't hear me. Alexa, dismiss the timer. All right, you guys. So let's pull this out the oven and see what it looks like. And then that will be it for tonight's show. So let me take this microphone off. And I'm gonna set it down right here. And you can actually see the pictures already through the paper. So I'm really excited about this. And I can also smell it as well. So you definitely, you know, it'll let you know when it's close to being done. Woo, woo, hot tamale. It's melting my stuff off of my thing. All right. So here's the first one, and as you see, it was super hot. 
so it turned brown we didn't want that but i do remember the temperature was like 360 and i had it on four bad me so hold on let me grab the other one and this one did not turn brown it's a, a different type of material um so this one did not turn brown at all but you can kind of see how before we couldn't see the image that's how strong this sublimation pigment is all right so we got another minute or two i'm gonna switch gloves and peel this off so that you guys can see it and y'all can get on with the rest of your not nights <laughs> tonight instead of me holding you up all right so let's take off our shrink wrap uh-oh it didn't cook long enough this one didn't any oh 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 sorry this one almost did not cook i think the heat was too hot hold on let me show you what i'm talking about can you see how it's brown and the color isn't true see that so i had it up too hot and didn't let it cook long enough so i'm going to redo that because i definitely want that mug to turn out right which is why i have extra mugs and now this one i think this one is going to be better so let me grab the scissors Ooh, i touched that mug on accident and i want to see if it went under the handle burning myself what kind of oven this is a hamilton beach extra large oven can you put her info in the description you took the rack out yes whoops whoops all right come on bro oh man y'all this thing is not wanting to let me oh okay so this one did better. Ooh, I like that. Oh man, I like that. Okay. So this one did much better. Whoops. Let me turn it the right side up. Without touching it this time. And it went under the handle as well. You call it chaos, we call it family. Let me get under the handle so you can see. It's sublimated under the handle as well. And I'm sure with me rushing like I did, it would have looked better if I had taken my time and lined it up. And I think this one could have stood the oven a little bit longer as well. But it still looks, oh no, my baby's face blurred. I just noticed that a little bit. So I think this could have stood the oven a little bit longer, but that's what why we do this so that you can see where the mess ups are, where you can do better and learn from trial and error. That's the whole point in the things that we do on this channel. But the mug turned out better than I thought it was going to. The cup, I'm tumbler, I'm gonna redo that because that was just like I don't like the it needed to cook longer. It needed to cook longer and i probably should have had a skinnier not skinnier you know what i'm trying to say uh, a shrink wrap that fit the mug instead of being super wide so um oh cool thank you afro colombian for posting that thank you very much so you guys thank you so much for joining us this evening i appreciate you being here with us uh, through all the craziness and all the fun so i look forward to you guys joining us again next week we may do sublimation again and have a little bit more success with the mugs and stuff because there is a technique to it um and practice makes perfect so let's have some fun because i do have two other mugs this one and a ceramic one that really needs to be sublimating it's begging for it and i have a best friend that wants her picture on a mug so i guess we'll do that <laughs> next week but if i i'll let you know for sure what we're going to do and i'll post that in the community tab so thank you all for joining me this evening i always appreciate having you all in here and i'll tell you what for the next 
time until the next time rather we see you we hope you have happy embroidering so thank you all and you all have a great night all right bye